But first, a major break in a St. Pete cold case. After 53 years, officers tell us who this woman is. It's the city's oldest and most infamous case. We're so glad that you're here with us on 10 Tampa Bay at 530. I'm Courtney Robinson. And I'm Josh Sidorowicz. In 1969, the woman's body was found in a trunk. It was behind a bar. Tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin talks with her daughter, who shares what happened all those years ago and has a plea for everyone watching. Before 275 was built in St. Petersburg, this area off 34th Street was woods, and it was here 53 years ago. Detectives found a large black trunk with a woman's body inside. The trunk lady. The woman's body was wrapped in a plastic bag. She was strangled with a bolo tie. Today, 53 years later, we know her name. Sylvia June Atherton, she was killed when she was 41 years of age. She left behind five children and she was from the Tucson, Arizona area. Through DNA matching, detectives were able to confirm the identity of Sylvia June Atherton and now her children are searching for their siblings. You know, we'd like to find out who did this. Also to find my sisters. I mean, the younger one was only four years old. I mean, it, of course, we're concerned that what's happened to them because why haven't they reached out? The detective who first investigated this case shared the obstacles he faced. There was no forensic science or even email. The technology was whoever I could reach in the telephone and whoever I could reach by um, paperwork. And now police still have more work to do. The search continues for Atherton's killer. And this is where like amateur sleuths will come in. This is where we're asking for assistance to kind of put the pieces together and the gaps together. After decades without a mother, Celine Gates hopes to find her sisters. If we can just get the word out, try to locate my sisters. It would be a blessing to my family. An end of this ordeal. In St. Pete, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. Gosh, after all these years. You know, this is not uh, the only cold case St. Pete police shared new developments on here today. Still ahead at 6, Malik shares the evidence that cracked the murder of a teen found in an alley exactly 26 years ago this month.